In the early part of the 20th century, Long Island was known for its affluence and high quality of life. And there were no better examples of this affluence than the hundreds of mansions that once lined the island's north shore. Well, many of these grand homes are now gone, but some do remain as a reminder of a quality of life that was once commonplace. Tonight, Chris Kalor begins a series of stories visiting some of the surviving North Shore mansions where Long Islanders can still get a sense of the past. Not many of us live in a home like this one. Transportation tycoon Howard Gould must really have believed in the saying, a man's house is his castle. Back in 1912, he had his house built to model a European castle with many of the fittings and decorative detail in the home shipped here from homes and castles in Europe. In 1917, Gould sold the home to Daniel Guggenheim, whose famous family made its fortune in mining. Like many Gold Coast era mansions, Hempstead House was built on a huge scale and used for entertaining visiting guests. For its time, it was the most opulent and most expensive house in Nassau County. Hempstead House has 40 rooms and originally sat on 250 acres. The exterior walls are made of granite and Indiana limestone. Unique characteristics include an 80-foot tall tower and an abundance of old world craftsmanship and features. Not only is it a very stately manner, but as you look closely, there's quite a bit of whimsy in the architecture too. Uh, some of the gargoyles and caricatures that you see around the building lend a nice little sense of humor to the place. The Guggenheims were known to entertain many guests in their home, including some of the most famous aviation pioneers at the time. Uh, General James Doolittle, um, Wilbur Wright, um, Charles Lindbergh was a frequent guest and a very close friend. He actually wrote his memoirs, We Here. Um, and they were very significant in um, Robert Goddard's early research. Now, if this mansion looks familiar, it may be because it's been used in several movies. This room right here was actually used in the 90s movie, A Scent of a Woman. One of the earlier films that were shot here in this building was New Jack City. Um, in the early 90s, the remake of Great Expectations was done here. Some scenes from Scent of a Woman were shot here at, towards the ending of the movie. The U.S. Navy controlled the property from 1942 to 1967, and in 1971, Nassau County acquired it. Today, the mansion is part of a county public park and preserve, which also includes Harry Guggenheim's house called Fillets and Castle Gould, which is built as a stable, models after an Irish castle. We have about six miles of trails that meander through the woods. We have 216 acres overlooking Long Island Sound. Uh, we have about half a mile of beachfront that you can walk and explore. As more and more of Long Long Island's older homes give way to development, Sands Point Preserve remains an exceptional opportunity for Long Islanders to get an up-close look at the scope and scale of what private residences were once like on Nassau County's North Shore. In Sands Point, Chris Calora, LI News Tonight.